Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Gus G, and I'm hanging out here at Jackson Guitars HQ discussing my brand new signature models. <laughs> First time I ever saw Jackson was in music videos, probably some Iron Maiden videos. Well, of course, Randy Rhodes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's always been on my radio. You know, growing up, it's like, it's one of the classic brands that you just look, you know, you would see on all the metal videos. You know, in the 80s and 90s, you would see Jacksons all over the place. Honestly, those, those kind of things, Having your own signature model guitar or just putting your name into any sort of product and working with legendary companies like Jackson, for example, here, uh, it's, these are like the craziest dreams that any kid could have and, and it just come true. So I'm really pinching myself. I'm always very grateful that, you know, I'm able to, to be here and, and do this and then, you know, get to sit down with the masters and create a product like that. I'm very proud of these guitars. Plus, I have to say it was pretty cool having Mike Shannon build my custom shop guitar. That guy's a legend. I basically told Mike, you know, and the guys and the team, I just told them what I liked. The, the combination of the wood and the pickups and stuff, these are combinations that I've used for years. And it's kind of like goes hand in hand with my sound and style by now. And those guys took that and we just tried to improve it basically. <laughs> I was just blown away by, like I said, by how they felt and how they sounded. It was really well-round, thick sound that I really liked it. I, th I heard my tone like 10 times better all of a sudden. So I was like, wow. Originally, when I got my first endorsement, which was probably 15 years ago, and I first went to Japan with a, this band I used to play called Dream Evil, and they handed me actually a, a dime bag guitar. And I, I went to Japan, did a couple of tours, and then I started working with uh, the Japanese guitar company um, and they had suggested, well, you know, you should probably keep playing these star shapes because you're getting popular now in Japan and people probably will recognize you from playing this. And um, that's how it kind of stuck with me. And I just enjoyed it. I thought, I thought it was cool. I, I felt like, I mean, of course, I'm not the only guy who's played these, but I was one of the, there's not many guys that have played these shapes over the years. And I just thought it was kind of a unique thing and it felt right. So it just kind of stuck with me for, I don't know, 15 years. Which is funny now, because it kind of comes full circle. Now I joined the Jackson family, and then they actually own the pattern of the shape. That's theirs. comes to the wood choice, the bodies, alder, I play rosewood fretboard, maple neck, neck through body. I mean, for me, it's like the neck has to just feel smooth. And like I said, even though I don't play uh, slim and very thin necks, I like them a bit thicker, um, it still has to feel easy. It's very simple, actually. I, I use, I don't use tremolo, so it's a stop tail bridge, one volume knob, three-way toggle switch, my signature Seymour Duncan uh, Fire Blackouts pickups. It's a 12 inch radius. The frets are Custom Shop Jumbo. The frets that I use have a, sl a slight curve as opposed to the normal frets. And uh, Spurzel uh, tuners. And 25 and a half inch scale length. And there you have it more or less. And then, like I said, we improvise and then we threw around ideas and the guy suggested that we do my uh, logo here on the 12th fret, uh, which looks pretty bitchin'. And uh, we came up with uh, the bevels and the pinstripes, which really highlight the bevels on the guitar. Uh, well, we designed these pickups with Seymour Duncan uh, five years ago. They look passive, but they're active. So the whole idea was that I wanted to have 
a combination of an active pickup, but also that has um, the, the sensitivities and the attack and um, dynamics of a passive pickup. So um, that's how the whole concept came about to do the, 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 the blackouts coil pack. And then from there, we, de we developed <clears throat> a voicing around that, which became my signature pickup. Because I play a lot around with uh, volume swells and stuff. So um, they respond really well, like the dynamics. And you can hear all the little picking, the, the attack and everything. It, you can hear everything. You can hear the wood through the guitar. It doesn't kill that, which is an interesting concept. And uh, I mean, once you play these pickups, to be honest, it's kind of hard to go back to if you're like a passive guy, you feel like there's no power in any other pickup. <laughs> They're pretty powerful. I mean, it's, I, I think it's these pickups are sort of like a, my, the secret weapon to my tone. <laughs> I got my first two prototypes, the what I call them, Blackie and Whitey, and I've been playing them and they just sound amazing. I don't know, the guitar just sounds a lot more well-rounded now, like all the frequencies are there. Oh, the sound is heavy as fuck, really. Mm -hmm. 